So we're doing some geometric proofs using vectors here. Now this is part of the Queensland Senior Syllabus for Math Specialist. Uh, here are the geometric proofs you're expected to know. All right, so there they are. There's four different proofs. You can pause it and read through those if you want. And we're going to go through each of those proofs in turn. So here's our first one. Prove the diagonals of a parallelogram meet at right angles if and only if it is a rhombus. Now, you might want to pause the video here and try it. Before you do, just remember this is geometric proofs using vectors. So if your proof doesn't use vectors, then it's not the right proof. So this is a parallelogram, and we're trying to prove that there will be a right angle there, but only if it's a rhombus. Okay, so that's what we're trying to prove. Let's get rid of that right angle. It's no good being there. All right, let's do some vectors here. So my first step here is to actually put in some vectors. So I'm going to let OA be vector A, and I'm going to let OB be vector B. All right, so that's that vector there and that vector there. Okay, um, now you should also note that because this is a parallelogram, AC is the same as vector OB, and BC is the same as vector A because it doesn't matter where the vectors are as long as they have the same direction and magnitude. So that thing in purple is what I just said. Um, vector BC is equal to OA, that is, it's vector A. And vector AC is equal to OB, that is, it's vector B. All right, so we've got two A vectors, two B vectors. Now let's focus our energy on the diagonals there. Now, you can see this blue diagonal going from O to C. So... We'll call that vector OC. Now, vector OC is equal to this vector plus this vector, all right? So you can see that graphically it's B plus A or A plus B. We can do it in whatever order we want. All right, so that's an important part of our proof. We can say that vector OC is equal to A plus B. Now, uh, vector AB is just slightly um, trickier. Vector AB is equal to OB minus OA, because we need to reverse OA to make a vector that looks like AB. All right, so OB is just vector B there, uh, minus uh, vector OA, which is vector A. We're at a stage now where our two blue vectors are represented by OC and AB, and we're trying to figure out something about like a right angle between them right angles between vectors you should probably be thinking about like a scalar product um and so if i do the dot product or the scalar product i get oc dot a b so one vector dot the next vector now those vectors are a plus b through a and b are vectors and b minus a and they're also vectors so dot product b minus a all right, so that's a vector plus another vector, dot product B minus A. Now, it's important to note that the dot product is distributive, meaning that if I'm doing the dot product between A plus B dot B minus A, I can use my FOIL method, but instead of multiplies, I'm doing dot products. So that's going to be equal to A dot B. Um, a negative a dot a um, b dot b um, negative a dot b all right so four dot products whoa okay uh, a dot b minus a dot b they cancel each other out so now i get this nice neat little b dot b minus a dot a. Now, if you search deep within your mind, you should remember that the dot product of a, a vector dot product itself, uh, because there's zero angle between them, um, cos theta is just going to equal 1. So now you're just doing the magnitude of b times the magnitude of b. So that's the magnitude of b squared minus the magnitude of a squared. All right, so the dot product of OC dot AB is equal to the magnitude of B squared minus the magnitude of A squared. 
Now you might want to pause for a minute here and think about where we're going with this. Prove the diagonals of a parallelogram meet at right angles if and only if it is a rhombus. A rhombus has equal, equal lengths everywhere. We're doing our dot product here. We know that for them to be right angles, the dot product has to equal zero. All right, so we're getting pretty close to the end of the proof here. Now for vectors to be perpendicular, the scalar product must be zero. So if I let zero equal b squared minus a squared, because we know that that's our, that, that's our dot product of oc dot ab, then we can say that a squared equals b squared, therefore a equals b, the magnitude of a equals the magnitude of b, therefore it's a rhombus. All right, so just some explanatory notes down the bottom there. Hence, when the length of A is the same as B, a rhombus, the angle is 90 degrees. If A and B were different in length, then the scalar product would not be zero, and the angle between would not be 90. There is our proof that the diagonals of a parallelogram meet at right angles if and only if it is a rhombus. Probably just worth reiterating that there are many other proofs for this particular thing. But this is a proof using vectors, which is what we're learning about. That brings us to our second proof. Prove the midpoints of the sides of a quadrilateral joined to form a parallelogram. I, I really love this property of quadrilaterals. Let's see what it actually looks like. Right, so I've created a quadrilateral in GeoGebra. I've found the midpoints of each line of the quadrilateral. And look what we have here. Length of 5.4, length of 5.4, 6.8, 6.8. By joining up those midpoints, I get a parallelogram. Now, it doesn't matter what the shape actually looks like. You can see if I move that dot over there, parallelogram. If I move this dot, still a parallelogram. Move this dot, still a parallelogram. I can do anything. I can distort this shape however I want to, as long as it remains a quadrilateral, and I'll get a parallelogram. It's pretty remarkable. We've seen it in action, but obviously we've got to prove it. We've got to prove that uh, PQRS inside of ABCD is indeed a parallelogram when you use these midpoints to create that inner quadrilateral. How are we going to prove it? Using vectors. First little step is to create full and half vectors. So our first example here says that vector AP, uh, so A to P, is equal to half of A to D. That's because P is the midpoint and it's half the length of AD, same direction. And then we've done AP, AD, AB, AQ, CS, CD, CB, CR, all in the same way. Next little step here is to express PQ uh, in terms of the vectors that we have up here. I can say that vector PQ is equal to vector PA plus AQ. PA plus AQ. And I can say that vector PA is equal to negative vector AP. All right. Um, so I've got a vector PQ there. Now I can do the same thing, not with vector PQ, but with vector SR. Vector SR is equal to SC plus CR, which is equal to negative CS plus uh, CR. Uh, now I can probably just sort of write these in reverse just because they'll be easy to work with. AQ minus AP and CR minus CS. All right, so we're just expressing those um, bits of our supposed parallelogram as these half vectors. Now after that, we can just say, well, AQ in the beginning, I said AQ was half AB, so let's sub that in there. AP uh, is half AD, so negative half AD there. And then over here, we're living like parallel lives left and right. Um, CR we know is half CB, and CS is equal to half CD. So let's sub all that in. Then uh, let's factorize, let's pull that half out um, of both equations. So now pretty simple factorization left and right, half AB minus AD, half CB minus now here's our big leap that we're going to make. So I'm just going to go over here to our image and I'm just going to add in a new point. Boom. And we'll just call it the origin. All right, so I've got the origin here. So now I can create vector OA, vector OB, vector OD, vector OC. Those are the position vectors of point A, B, C, and D. And let's just call them 
position vector A, position vector B, position vector C, position vector D. All right, that's pretty wild, but let's think about what we can now do with those uh, position vectors. When we look at uh, vector A, B, we can now describe that using our position vectors as vector B minus vector A. So I've got equals one half and AB becomes um, vector B minus vector A. And similarly, vector AD becomes vector D minus vector A. All right. And then what can I do here? I've got a B, I've got a minus, minus, minus A, which is minus A plus A. The A's are going to cancel each other out. And I've got half vector B minus vector D. Okay. Um, I can obviously do the same over here, right? So I've got half uh, vector B minus vector C minus um, vector D minus vector C. And what's going to happen here? Well, I'm going to have half uh, vector B minus C minus minus C. The C's are going to cancel out. And I'll get this minus D here. Oh, hello. Pretty, pretty. So what do we have? We have two vectors um, that are equal, right? We've just shown that vector PQ, PQ is equal to vector SR. Because they are both, they both can be expressed as half b minus d, half b minus t. If two vectors are equal, they have the same length, and they're also parallel. That's a parallelogram. Here's what I just said. Now, if you were feeling really wild, you could go through this whole process again to prove that SP and um, RQ were also parallel, uh, were also the same length. But to prove that something's a parallelogram, you only really need to know that two of the sides or two opposite sides are parallel and have the same magnitude. If it doesn't feel good enough, in this blue square here, I've put a little proof that knowing one pair of sides in a parallelogram is enough to call it a parallelogram. You do not, when doing this proof, need what's in this blue box. You can just kind of accept it as fact that that's something that everybody knows like everybody knows the internal angles of a triangle or something like that. The proof consists of, I suppose, your picture and this stuff in red, all of that, not necessary. So that's a 12 minute video covering um, two proofs, two of four proofs. So I'll make another one, probably gonna be another 12 minutes or so. Uh, these proofs, you need to be able to recreate them. If somebody asks you to prove the midpoints, you should be able to do it. If somebody asks you to prove the diagonals, you should be able to do it.